with our news so filled with strife and intolerance between religions, and in particular the tension between Muslims and Jews in the Middle East, we have a guest today from Azerbaijan, who is in Idaho trying to spread the word that it doesn't have to be that way. Azerbaijan is a former Soviet country bordered by Russia to the north and Iran to the south, and this promotional video touts its modern accomplishments, thanks in large part to oil and gas wealth, but it also touts its interfaith harmony. State and religion are clearly separated. Although Islam remains a vital part of the tradition, the tolerance in matters of faith is high. Many leaders of global religions have been welcomed in Azerbaijan. Well, let's hear more about that. I want to introduce you to Nasimi Agayev. He's Azerbaijan's Consul General based in Los Angeles. And I had a little chance to do some research and some studying about your country this afternoon. Fascinating to have you on the show. Thank you for joining Thank you very me. Much, right? Tell me about Azerbaijan. We're going to show a map so that people can kind of get a sense. Not many of us in Idaho have been to Azerbaijan. Yes, that's quite understandable. It's a bit far away. But Azerbaijan, as you mentioned, was part of the Soviet Union for 71 years, but since 24 years, Azerbaijan has restored its independence and we are free again. And it's the largest economy in that region, in the so-called South Caucasus, uh, and it's a, it has $75 billion economy, and uh, it's a thriving country right uh, in, a, in a very difficult neighborhood. I guess, I mean, from what we've been seeing in world news recently, you're right in the middle of a lot that's going on. Nine million people, is that right? It's a 9.5 million population, and the size of the country is comparable to the state of Maine mm -hmm. uh, in the United States. So. And about 95% Muslim, as I understand. Exactly, so the majority of the population are Muslims, uh, but it is strongly secular country. So Azerbaijan's secularism uh, is very, very well known. But at the same time, the whole idea is to grant the freedom of religion to all people who want to practice their religion freely. And we have a vibrant Christian community in Azerbaijan, a vibrant, long-standing Jewish community that has been there for thousands of years, and living together with their Muslim and Christian brothers in peace and harmony without any problems. What's the secret? The secret is that I think, the, first of all, the society uh, has developed this culture that enables everyone to accept each other as they are and uh, respect its, each other's traditions. But as an independent country, the government of Azerbaijan tries to nurture these long-standing traditions. As our president said, multiculturalism, tolerance, are our government policy, state policy. So it's a very important priority for us. So I think that's why the government's role here is extremely important, to make sure that these traditions remain nurtured and make Azerbaijan stronger and more stable. Now, I understand you're meeting with our governor tomorrow morning. Exactly. Why are you in Idaho? And what is your message to the governor and the people of Idaho? So I'm coming to Idaho at the invitation of, uh, of, the, of Mr. Governor uh, Butter, and I'm looking forward to meeting with him. Uh, we try to uh, establish a relation, good relationships with the state of Idaho. And I must say it was a love at first sight when we first landed here. And I think there, are, there is tremendous potential to develop good trade and commercial relationships between, the two, between Idaho and Azerbaijan, but also education. I've, I've come to learn that there are good universities here, and we have a great study abroad program, finance retired by the government, and we would like to bring some students to Idaho uh, and to have these exchanges, which well, are very important. Then. If the video I watched was any indication, it's beautiful, beautiful country, and as you said, with a rich tradition. I know you are a young country, though, yet in your own standing at this point. There are still some human rights concerns and, and freedom of the press. I, I, there was things your country said, it sounds like you're still struggling to get to where maybe you all want to be? You know, uh, Azerbaijan was part of a totalitarian Soviet Union for 71 years, and Azerbaijan has been really making tremendous progress uh, towards dem dem democracy and human rights, and I think we've been uh, very pretty successful. Also, the Secretary of State Clinton once mentioned that Azerbaijan uh, progress should be uh, uh, appreciated in that regard. But it's not a process you can just uh, accomplish overnight. So it has been like a very short period of time that we have been independent, but I think we are moving in the right direction and making progress. Well, you, you intrigued me. I, I think I have all of my history friends out there listening and saying, I'm gonna look into that. That's an interesting, and as you've said, a very rich history in cultural, multiculturalism in Azerbaijan. Thank you so much for being here on the news at four. Well, coming up right here, Rick is going to have your personal